Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today I am going to show you how you can make all the unplayable minor city states in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.6 perfectly playable. Yes, I'm going to show you how to do that, guys, and it's really, really simple. But first of all, if you do enjoy this RAS content, make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out, especially on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And if you like what you see, you can interact with me here on this Discord and on the RAS Discord here as well, guys. I'm bobbing around, and you can find loads of RAS juicies, uh, juicy information on there. I don't know what juicies are, but juicy information on there. So let's get going with the uh, making them playable. So first of all, you want to find where your Rome Remastered is installed if you have more than one drive. I have a boot drive and a data drive. So for me, it's on the data drive, but it might be on your C drive as well, guys. But it's up to you to find where that is. And you want to find this uh, folder here, Steam Library, guys. And this should probably, if you've installed all of your Steam games on one drive, maybe only one of these folders. So that should be nice and easy for you to find. So we're going to go onto the Steam Library. We're also going to go onto the Steam apps here because for me that's the only other folder we can go onto. We are not going to go onto Common, which you'll find a lot of the time when you're uh, doing some of the older mods that you'll be looking at. Some of the old mods that you have to install via the files. Often you'll go into Common, but no, because we're on the Steam Workshop, we are going to use the Workshop here. So we're going to press on Workshop, go on to Content. Now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So... Generally, when you come on here, you're going to find just numbers. <laughs> it's not going to be named, but you can work out which one is Rome Remastered by kind of going onto these and finding this. So, for example, here, a lot of the time, the easiest thing to do, so that's not the best example, but if I come onto this one, uh, a lot of the time, they will have pictures on these mods. So, say the thumbnail here, you can come on this, and we can see this is a Hearts of Iron 4 mod, so it's not this folder. That's the easiest way I've got to say that you can find it. This, for example, if we come down here, you can see, oh, it's CK3, that one. So I'm not going to go on to that one. So for me, it is this 8851 here. So we're going to press on that. And then we're going to have a look again through a load of numbers. And again, the easiest thing to do is to have a look at the preview image. So we come on to here. Oh, look, that's Chivalry Total War. So it's not RAS. How about this one? Let's have a look at the preview image. That's, oh, that's Europa Barbarorum. So it's not that one. Go until you find the right one, and it should, the preview image, should look like this, and you'll also have this settings RIS mod on there, so it's pretty obvious when you find the right one. So when we get onto here, guys, we are going to go onto data, of course, all the way down to the bottom of the folders, to world. Then we're going to go up to maps, that's the only folder here, campaign, and then imperial campaign, and we are ready now to make the factions playable. I know I've taken a little bit of time uh, to go through that, guys, but I wanted to just make sure you could follow this in real time. And, of course, you can see this is the file route here. So if you are struggling, come back to this point of the mod and look through this. Of course, these numbers may be different for you guys. So, of course, those numbers may not be exactly right for you. But, of course, everything else should be pretty much the right way, apart from maybe which drive you are on. Then we are going to go to this file here, this text document, description strat here. I'm going to drag that across when it loads in. Normally it takes a little bit of time to load in because it's quite a large faction. Now there's two things you can do here. You can either go control F and search playable. So control F, playable, press enter. It's going to take you to that one firstly, but you press next and it'll bring you to this one. Honestly, it's not far down the document as you can see. So you can just scroll down to it <laughs> if you want to. Nice and easy. Now, all of this shows all the playable factions, and you will see them all in the list. And I believe this is the list that they uh, that they show up on the game, on the Imperial Campaign screen. And you can see non-playable here as well. You might have a few cheeky little uh, sneak previews here as well. And simply what we are going to do is we are going to cut and paste these factions, whichever faction you want to play, up into this list. It doesn't matter where it goes, as long as it goes above dummies 
and you make sure you delete it from this list. So we're going to be a Byzantium stan. So I'm going to press Control and X to cut it. Then we're going to go up. If we can go up, I'm going to start a new line. And yeah, you can see this file is quite, quite intensive. And we're going to paste it there. Now, it's going to show like that. If you want to, you can press tab to make it nice and clean. And we can see Byzantium is now gone. We're going to delete that space in the gap. There we are. You can see it's, it's quite a big, big file for a text file. And Byzantium now should be playable in the game. So that is how you do it. You can copy and paste as many as you want. And in fact, I'm going to copy and paste Pontic Pentapolis because I love that faction. Where are you, Pontic Pentapolis? <laughs> there we are, Pentapolis. So you can also just copy and paste by right-clicking if you don't want to use uh, stuff in there. We're going to put it near Byzantium. I'm going to put it on a new line. So there we go. As I say, it doesn't really matter what, <laughs> what line it's on as long as it's above dummies and below playable here. So we're going to tab that across again. And where is Pentapolis down here? This is the problem now because I copied and pasted it rather than cut it. So we've got to try and find... Where is Pentapolis? There it is. Got it. Now we're going to delete this line. Get rid of this one. And both of those factions now should be playable. So key things, guys. Make sure that once you've pasted it above or you've cut it above, it's deleted in the second list. Otherwise, that's going to cause you crashes. And then um, that is the main thing. And make sure it's above dummies here. You can't put it below dummies. Um, so, yeah. And then finally, when you've done that, guys, you can either press Control S and it's going to save. Or you can press File up here and save. Do not save as, guys. Make sure you just save it. Now let's close it down. And we are going to go onto the game, and I'm going to show you that we can now play those factions. Here we go, guys, on the Imperial Campaign map on the start. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll find your factions ready to go. Congrats, you unlocked this faction for playing, which means you just modded. How about that? Now, I wouldn't recommend unlocking the other rebel faction, guys. Don't unlock those boys, but unlock any of the other playable factions, or any of the other um, unplayable factions, if you want. I just, I'm not sure whether the Rebels would really work. And who wants to play as the Rebels? Anyway, and you've already got the dummies here. Uh, but yeah, congrats, you unlock this faction for playing, which means you just modded. How about that? Well done. We're going to end on that, guys. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Otherwise, Mr. Cherry knows, and he's coming for you. But anyway, guys, I will see you all again on the next video.